colors produced are the ones from the rainbow. All the colors have different wavelengths and can be ordered from the longest to the shortest. The shortest one, for example, purple, has the highest frequency, which means it has the most energy. The photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect is a reaction, particularly from the solar cells. To generalize the process, the photoelectric effect happens with a light source, like the sun, gives the electrons energy to release themselves from the metal that they belong to. The photoelectric effect was first observed by Henry Hertz. That's why the photoelectric effect is also called the Hertz effect. How solar cells produce electricity. Solar cells produce, people use solar cells to generate electricity. The solar cells have two layers, the N layer and the P layer. The solar cells, or photovoltaic cells, are made out of silicone, phosphorus, and boron. The silicone atoms have four valence electrons and can be either doped with phosphorus or boron. The phosphorus atoms have five valence electrons and can be, and the fifth electron gains energy and to flow through the conductor and into the P layer. The boron atom has three valence electrons, which makes this the perfect cycle. The sun gives the fifth electron energy to flow through the conductor and into the P layer. The boron atom attracts the electron towards it and fills in the space between another silicon atom. This way, it produces electricity. I also did a science project that experimented on solar cell spectral sensitivity. This means I had to test how the solar cell would react to different colors of the spectrum. The problem of my project is that the I had to test how um, which color of the spectrum would have the strongest reaction from the solar cell and generate the most electricity. My hypothesis was that the blue color would have the highest <coughs> would have the highest measurements because it has the highest frequency, which will therefore produce the most electricity. My procedure. I used an optical bench for this experiment. The first thing you need to do is turn on the light and center it on the solar cell so that the um, measurements would be more accurate. Put a filter into the pocket and place it on the YD holder. Turn on the multimeter and measure the voltage and the intensity. Finally, do the same procedure only with a different color or a different set. Analysis of data. According to my results, the yellow color actually had the highest measurement. Here are some charts and a graph to show. Uh, how do you do the laser? Okay. So over here, um, the yellow has the highest measurement, so it shows that it has the highest measurement. And over here, I did three sets, and then I did an average, um, average to plot it on the chart. Conclusion. I concluded that my hypothesis was incorrect. I thought that the blue color would have the hi highest measurements because, according to the physics of light, it has the highest frequency. With the result, I thought it was unusual that the yellow color had the highest measurements. So, I researched one more time and three things stand in the way to my result. The yellow filter, the composition of the solar cell, and the, spe the flashlight spectrum. Yellow pigment filters absorb blue light and, and transmit red and green light, but to our eyes, we see only yellow. However, the solar cell receives red and green light and combines both of the energies to make a new measurement. That's one reason why the yellow filter has the highest measurement. The Some solar cell materials have like amorphous silicon respond better to yellow and orange lights. The light from the flashlight can be stronger with higher wavelengths such as yellow and orange and weaker otherwise. I really enjoyed this project and I hope um, you like it too. Um, thank you for watching.